It's that time again to show you the good, bad, and unusual things that you might have missed or maybe just need to see one more time. We've got playoff beards, we've got stolen pin flags, and we have got weird penalties. But first, let's start with Phil Mickelson being, well, Phil Mickelson. During the first leg of the playoffs, Mickelson found his Achilles heel. It was called the fifth hole at Ridgewood. On Friday, he sent his tee shot way left and incredibly found himself in a playable position in a hospitality tent. In true Mickelson form, he chose to hit it from the elevated area as opposed to taking a free drop and took the bogey. Well, you thought that was strange, right? How about it happening on the same hole to the same player the very next day? Yes, again, Phil, way left, hospitality area, but this time got up and down for par. All right, so that may have been good, bad, and unusual all wrapped into one, but for Sung Yul No at the Barclays, there was nothing good about this. No hit an errant shot of his own going way right, finding himself on the green of a different hole. The Zura Classic champion just went about his business and hit his next shot from that green, which is not allowed. Even after trying to replace the divot as best he could, No was assessed a two-stroke penalty, a violation rules official Slugger White said he had never seen applied in a PGA Tour event before. Something else we've never seen, a caddy taking a pin flag while play is still going on. Bernhard Longer has been dominating the Champions Tour this year with five victories, and in his last one at the Dick Sporting Goods Open, he came from behind for the win, so the final group still had to finish out on 18. Well, Longer's daughter, who was on the bag, took the pin flag as is customary for the winner, but had to put it back for about another 15 minutes or so. The Champs Tour deserves a lot of love in this edition. Congratulations to our newest Mr. 59, Kevin Sutherland, who bogeyed the last, yes, you heard that right, bogeyed the last at the Dick Sporting Goods Open for that 59. Yeah, that's a pretty good round when you have to bogey to card the toughest number in golf. All right, now let's take a look at some of the hardest shots to execute on the PGA Tour. Usually when a player hits the flagstick, that kind of accuracy leaves the player a long putt coming back, but not in these instances. Hello, that'll help. Brant Snedeker, his second shot, rattles the flag and then comes back, setting up a wonderful birdie opportunity. Now, you know the Canadians take their playoff beard seriously, and we are not just talking about hockey. Graham Dillette grows one of the most solid beards on tour, and it doesn't go unnoticed by his fans, as he found out at the Deutsche Bank Championship. I love the mustache trucker hats, too. They really covered all their facial hair bases in one very impressive outfit. All right, that'll do it for this edition of The Good, The Bad, Me, Unusual. Enjoy the BMW Championship, and don't forget to tune in to PGATour.com's The Takeaway each night after every round to see what you might have missed.